There is a problem with cybersecurity jobs. On one hand, we see salaries like this and this, but we also hear organizations screaming for talent shortage. They just can't seem to find enough qualified cybersecurity professionals. But when you look closer, cybersecurity professionals tend to change jobs every six to 18 months, which is a very short period of time. But not only that, there is a growing concern about the stress and burnout in cybersecurity. So in this video, I will share with you what it's actually like to work in cybersecurity I will share with you some of the realities that most people don't seem to want to talk about but it's not all negative so if you watch till the end of the video there are some positives the first one is the concept of bore out bore out is essentially being burned out from boredom it's that dreadful feeling that you get when you feel that your work doesn't have any purpose now this might sound silly to some of you but it's very very real it's a little bit complicated to unpack but cybersecurity is sold as this extremely exciting career where you're working at the FBI and hunting cyber criminals but it also doesn't help when you go to social media and you see some of those cybersecurity professionals speak about their job as if they are at the forefront of World War 3. It's not only cringy but it's also not realistic. So what end up happening is when you land your first cybersecurity job you might feel like the job is not exactly what was sold to you maybe you will need to look at some alerts or perhaps you will need to spend some time with spreadsheets or documentation and it gets even more complicated if you end up working in a big organization where you might feel like you're a cog in a machine. You might also feel like no matter what you do, hackers will still be successful and compromise the organization. No matter what you do, it will feel like your work doesn't matter, but trust me, it does. Now, this concept is referred to as bore out, where that sense of dread and boredom will give you health problems. It's well documented and there is research around this area. The second reality is probably the worst of them, which is ego. Ego is something you will run into when you land your first cybersecurity job or even before you land your first cybersecurity job. You will run into individuals with a chip on their shoulder who have an innate need to want to prove to other people that they're better than everyone else. Look, to be honest, I think people with massive egos and aggressive personalities, all they want is just validation from other people. When it comes down to it, they just want people to love them. Would I rather be feared or loved? Um, easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. Now, unfortunately, what I've seen is when you have someone with a massive ego work in a team, they tend to ruin it for everyone else in their team. I have personally left environments because of these toxic individuals. They just have a way of ruining the entire environment for everyone around them. I try to be polite with them. I try to be nice with them, but it doesn't work. Unfortunately, I don't have a solution for this. So if you have a solution for this, please let me know because it's a constant struggle. Now, the next one is salaries. But before we continue, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, North Pass Business. NordPass Business is a password manager that provides employees seamless access to sensitive information across devices. With strong hard to crack passwords, it has so many cool features such as the auto login feature and multi-factor authentication. It stores sensitive information such as passwords, notes, and credit card information in an encrypted vault. This allows team members to share sensitive information securely. You can save your credit card once and it can be shared with other business units and employees. But NordPass business also creates strong passwords by default with easy to configure password policies. But my favorite feature is still the data breach notification. This allows you to change any of your passwords that were compromised as part of any breach before any damage is done. But best of all, you can secure your business effortlessly with a three month NordPass business free trial by using the activation code UNIXGUY at nordpass.com slash UNIXGUY. It's a limited offer only. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. And back to the video. Salaries is definitely one of those attractive things about cybersecurity. You can definitely make a lot of money in cybersecurity. But when you get your first cybersecurity, I still run into individuals who are shocked that their salary is not an instant six figures. And for this, I still blame the scammy boot camps who try to sell you a dream and tell you that you have a guaranteed job at the end of boot camp. This is a scam. If it's too good to be true, then it's probably a scam. Trust me on this one. But the problem gets a little bit more complicated because to get a cybersecurity job, yes, you don't need a degree, but for some reason, this seemed to give the impression to some individuals that you can just walk into a cybersecurity job without doing any work. Now, yes, that might happen, but the truth is you still need to put in effort. You still need to 
study, you still need to do the certifications that we recommend. There is still a learning curve. And yes, the high salaries are there for you to get once you have some experience under your belt, once you've built your resume, once you've get some more intermediate to advanced skills, you will get those high salaries. It might just not happen in your very first cybersecurity job. And by the way, if you haven't signed up yet, I have a free cybersecurity newsletter where I share with you more tips and guidelines to help you in your cybersecurity career. And those tips and guidelines usually don't make it to the videos and sometimes they are a follow up to some of those videos. You can sign up completely for free at unixguy.com. Now the next reality of working in cybersecurity, which in my opinion is one of the best positives about working in cybersecurity, it's the community. While everyone seems focused on the salaries and the career progression and the remote work opportunities, which are all awesome things by the way, but the community in my opinion is the best thing about a career in cybersecurity. In fact, last week I went to the Australian Cybersecurity Conference as a volunteer and to my surprise, I ran into so many people who watch this YouTube channel, which was so lovely by the way. I had so much fun meeting you all and we did an impromptu meetup for people who were at the conference and I genuinely had the best time in this conference because I got to meet so many great people and I got to catch up with old friends. So if you ever get a chance to go into any cybersecurity event or a conference, I highly recommend you do so because you will meet some of the best people in our community. And I'm planning to go to more meetups in different parts of the world. So hopefully I will get to meet you one day. Now, if you want to be part of this community and you want to start a career in cybersecurity, I've created this step-by-step -step roadmap for you to get you started and I'll see you there.